uh, what it is it just yesterday and it today in both days actually we are talking about more and more about the bifurcation and the calcium because these two are the talk of the planet talk of the town and everywhere so every time we talk that one and actually becomes bored sometimes like dr carla has already talked about beautifully about the three modalities or balloon based techniques for calcium so i am going to highlight especially on the shock therapy also just before starting if you see this three pictures here so you can understand that it to understand the calcium and how it is producing in the coronaries it's a, it's, it's like a, it's, i don't like to recollect even that these things which i have read in pathologies or pathophysiologists so this complexity means the calcium itself is very much complex and the same way to treat that one in the coronaries is also very very much complex and arbitrarily calcium is like a ghost and if you face a ghost sometimes you need a magic wand like shock therapy so that's why my discussion is like this especially in a practical way the calcium is a disastrous recipe no doubt about it proper diagnosis of severity is a very much important thing before touching that one and lots of algorithms so far with the advent of lots of armamentarium if we have so far three orthodox imaging tools to understand the calcium because that is the most important thing to treat a calcium so like angiography ivers and octs but among them you see the angiography itself can detect the mild calcium only in 38% case and if it is severe only 85% case that means 15% case can be missed even by angiogram ocity obviously is relatively better than ivers except in the osteal left main or somewhere and and also by ocity based this uh, fusinos uh, severity like 180 degree arc more than 180 point more than 0.5 mm thickness and more than 5 mm length is important if the modalities we see it is in great evolution and that's why and the trials which are happening not that much because actually by few years for last few years the calcium has been in the in in the concentrations so starting back in 2013 in the road taxes trial then orbit 2 and then prepare calc disrupt cad 1 2 and 3 3 is the latest one with a one year outcome and the finally the crunch registry so these are all about the calcium and the calcium trials not that much big like in bifurcations and the weapons you know that balloon based weapons like in c scoring cutting opn chocolate ptc which is not in this part of the planet but beyond the atlantic it is it is it is available and in device based you can see the rotablation elka or laser and the orbital lathectomy and in balloon based technique we have got especially in this country the newer one is the ivl which we pen and when you know lots of algorithms i like this algorithm a little bit like a massa like assess you modify then you will give the assess again and then make the stands and you see in the red line the shock wave is possible and can you can give there when you have a superficial calcium and also you have a deep calcium and that's why how shock works is actually obviously totally an applied physics things i don't even can't understand sometimes like you squeezing then it causes cavitation and then fatigue and ultimately spallation and ultimately it cracks the calcium so let's see a case a 70 years old post cavg case so ultimately you know that severe calcium is predicted there and he says uh, two graphs lima 2 led and svg 2m is patent but what about that unprotected rca which is to almost sub totally occluded but even in geographically you can just appreciate that how much calcium it is there in the in the in the beach so too much to handle even in geographically but deep and superficial calcium you can see here and this dust in the old case is what to do first task to wear not to be that easy ballooning by modifiable balloon as much as it permits of course or you can go up front rotablation by taking the rotor wear initially so that is also one option it can be and imaging by oct initially it cannot be possible and then after ballooning can be you can take the ivas catheter or the oct catheter 
and you can assess the severity of what you are seeing in the angiography, how much the superficial calcium is. And then to choose the next armamentarium, whether the rotablation or the IVL or the mixture of both, the, the rotablation plus IVL. So what we have done is 70 plus years old and very much fragile. I was trying to avoid the rotablation if it is possible and if I can see by IVAS or OCT that how much calcium or how much it can be dealt with. So in CN scoring balloons with upscalation of the balloons how much you can to test the might of the calcium didn't work that much. You can see the dog boning effect there even with the ballooning. And then IVAS uh, did it, it is confusing, it's, it has confirmed that some, some napkin ring calciums are there, in the, especially in the disease segment, uh, which has not been cracked by the MB. And uh, also like MB means the modifiable balloons. And then we have no other way to choose another armamentarium. So the next level is the IVL or the device based therapy means uh, atherectomy device. I chose the IVL this time. So this IVL you see that uh, one is to one you have to take and it's a 3.512 IVL. Initially after 30 pulses even still not uniform the balloon even the IVL balloon was not properly infl inflated. So not too much crack I have seen by even IVS still calcium is there and need more pulses so another 40 pulses we have 30 pulses we have given with four to six atmospheric pressure and now you can see the ideal balloon is also has become uniform here and you see in the right side the cracks it has become very much uh, softer than it were before so then easily it can it, it has been stented and then post dilated and also we have seen a post uh, post uh, PCI IVAS and also it is good, it looks good, so happy ending with IVL. So in this case, rotablation could work as well. IVL also worked well here. Least complication with increased cost for IVL, a delicate balance from the operator's perspective. And obviously, if you, if you could see a very horrible nodules or eccentric, very much eccentric calcifications, maybe the role of IVL would be a question there. What about this case with the Lepman LED lesion with severe calcification? This is this case is a 60 years old patient, but very much fragile also with class 3 angina. It's a smaller caliber radial artery, so you have to take the six uh, trans ulnar approach for the to take a six French guide catheter. And then you have seen you have seen you can appreciate the calcium everywhere, not only in the in the coronaries, but also in the structure in the valves also. So here this severe calcification how to deal with because uh, it's in the proximal LED you see here and quite disturbing calcification. Prediction is there to ask for spatial armamentarium to manage the might of the calcium. OCT and IVAS obviously is needed. So how, how we will go for this one? Only MBs can or modifiable balloons can work there or a front rotablation or IVL in the distal left main LED or you will go for the rotatripsy. So what I've done is that the first the meticulous vessel bed preparation we have done. Sometimes MB can crack the calcium, IVAS and OCT can ensure it. And then what we have seen in the IVAS 260 to 360 degree calcification in both proximal and osteal extending to the distal left main, not cracked that much with with the modifiable balloons. So now the question is what should be the next move also for this case, debulking in the left main with the fragile patients. I was a little bit skeptical for that one. It is possible, but involving the IVL, whether it is possible or not, in the distal left main to do an IVL, possible and safer, though the RCTs which has already so far done didn't include this left main subset for IVL. Yeah, but planned for IVL for this case. This is the magic one and which diameter you have to take? One is to one, but all the time you have to remember the crossing profile of the IVL because sometimes maybe 0.25 less than the diameter should be taken because otherwise the balloon may not cross. So delivered the shock here, it's through with a 312 IVL and 30, 20 pulses each, both proximal and involving the distal left main and R-limit LED 
and then hot spots got melted like that uh, that ice uh, so post i will i was just good and soothing so no hiccup while taking and deploying a 334 days in left main to led followed by pot and followed by the the i was uh, re-imaging and has shown that uh, proper apposition of the stand so it's uh, quite happy with this one this is the final peak here so shock is feasible or possible in left main subset also as newcomer new trials are limited the least latest wants to disrupt cat 3 and there is a registry also and this this, this is a 384 patients only but it's still it has it has been seen that one year outcome is really really good and this crunch registry has involved has expanded the IVL towards the ISL lesions and here also it has become effective of course in a very small population like this case in the ISR, you can see that there is a stand there and beyond the stand, just proximal to the stand and then within the stand itself and just distal to the stand segment, there is a huge chunk like calcium there and there is a tortuosity also there. So this, how I will deal these things, I was catheter was not crossed even, so and uh, with the 2.5 NCBLUN, you can see that the grumpy dog burning here and further escalation of the balloon was not even possible with this one so in some segments almost 360 calcifications uh, better to take an IVL for this case and what we have done the 30 pulses yet didn't work and then another another 40 pulses then it has been bitten and then post IVL IVS you see that how much cracked has crack has been done in that segment so ultimately the standing was very much beautiful here and uh, no other po possible problems even in the final IVAS uh, also there. So IVAL seems to me like a soothing violin to wrap up if I can tell. Unlike a me, IVAL requires no specific training. The risk of atherometrous embolizations which can be done by the root ablation especially, this is, uh, n there is no risk for embolizations. Circumferential modification of the calcific atheroma is possible. Minimizing mechanical vascular trauma is also possible. SB protection using adverb can easily be performed using IVL. So, thank you very much for your patience hearing.